Hello tennis friend, this is Iris Savage with White Tech Strings. I quickly wanted to jump on here and discuss a topic that I've seen on social media being talked a lot about, and that is should junior players play with poly strings? Now, if you're a stringer, most of you would lean towards like, nope, stay away from polys. Juniors should only play with multi-filament, synthetic gut, or natural gut uh, if they can afford it. Now, if you are a coach and you are a parent and you've traveled with these juniors, you know, a lot of you would lean more towards, yeah, they can play with poly strings, but there's some uh, restrictions towards that comment right there, which I will address right now. Now, you would agree with me, a junior player ranges anything between the age of zero to about 18 years of age. That is what we call juniors. Now, if somebody says, well, juniors cannot play with poly, there is a major gap between the age of zero and one that we're talking about here. Now, some of these juniors that are 16, 17, 18, some of them are almost ready to be at the pro level, play D1 college. So you cannot even discuss uh, the high level junior with somebody that just started tennis. All right, so we gotta stop generalizing it and look exactly on an individual basis what a player needs. Now, I agree 100%. A young junior, like let's say from the age of 12 and under, should never play with polys. They should go for the cheapest, not so much the cheapest, they should go for the strings that's the easiest on their arm. For example, like a synthetic gut, well, that's why I say a cheap synthetic gut, that's fine, because they don't break strings pretty much at all. You know, if they can afford it, they can go for a little bit more higher uh, microfiber or multi-filament or even a natural gut, like the holy grail of strings. So why even uh, play with poly strings? But all we all know, juniors go to tennis tournaments, they break strings frequently, specifically the juniors that go to the academies you know, three, four, five hours a day, you put a synthetic or multi-filament in their rackets, they're gonna pop like this even in the warm-ups. So we have to look at it and see, hey, what is the best combinations? But most importantly, how do we protect our juniors and our younger players from getting tennis elbow? Now, uh, my two cents, my opinion, that's what makes white tech different. And I'm not so much here to promote our strings, but you know, our focus is we want to, we focus on soft co-polys that is easy on the arm, specifically uh, geared towards players of a younger age as well uh, that wants to make that switch. Okay, but most of the time, juniors, when they go online, they want to order the strings that their favorite pro plays with. Yeah, and I would be the same thing. If I was their age, 10 years old, for example, I would jump online and say, hey, give me that same string that Nadal plays with or Djokovic plays with. Now, we all agree that should not happen because a young kid that's 10 years old, they don't have the swing speed of Federer. They don't have the power of a Djokovic, for example. Uh, they should not play, for my opinion, with probably the same racket or even the same strings because these kids, they play on smaller size chords as well. Now, for those juniors, I would say, yes, yeah, stick with your synthetics, multifilament, and so on. But once you get to the tournament age, you know, I would say a little bit more towards 14 to 16 to 18, where they pop strings frequently. Now you can uh, look a little, little bit more towards the poly strings. But again, if they juniors, and according to their swing style, they should go for the softest co polys that's the easiest on their arm if they're gonna pound the ball for three to four hours daily. Now, I would love to hear your comments down there to see what would be the greatest or the best uh, combos on strings. It doesn't have to be from our string line. Uh, like I said, I just want to generally uh, discuss this topic out here for the coaches and the stringers to get together and to all get on the same page because we gotta educate uh, our students out there, you know, our young players, uh, as well as the parents, because we know the parents, they give, uh, they're the ones that gives all their time, they love traveling uh, to the tournaments, but they have no clue, you know, what string uh, the players should play with, and they pretty much rely on the coaches to give them that advice. And you would agree with me too, there's a lot of coaches out there that doesn't have a clue, you know, you know, about poly strings or multifilament and so on. I see that on a daily basis. They love to teach, but they don't have that education. And you agree with me, poly strings, it's kind of relatively still new on the market. We talk about 10, 15 years and so on. That's still new. So there's a lot of coaches that have been coaching for 20, 30, 40 years that is not up to speed about, you know, what poly does for you, what multifilament does for you and synthetic gut and so on. So uh, my opinion, 
if you're between the ages of let's say 14 15 16 17 18 onwards and so on yes you can play with poly strings but make sure you pick a soft co poly and you can even hybrid a poly for, for those of you who doesn't know what a hybrid is you use a, a poly uh, pretty much in the mains and a nice synthetic gut in the crosses some switch it up you know and uh, if you are more frequent string breaker you can go to full poly but I would only recommend that if you thoroughly play tested it and you don't get any arm issues, yes, you can switch to a full poly, but make sure it's a soft poly because it's got a better feel anyway. And uh, that's what we focus more on here at White Tech is the soft polys. But uh, for the rest of you out there, you know, um, if you're under the age of 12 and so on, like I said, stay away from polys, go with the synthetic, the multi filaments, and so on. And uh, that's my two cents out here. So I would love to hear from you stringers and you coaches out there uh, what your comments is on about strings and what your players, the juniors and adults you play with. All right, love to hear from you guys. Bye-bye.